Hello everyone, Quentin here with Eagle 3D Streaming. We have a great video for you today. In this video, I will show you how to pixel stream over the internet using CoreWeave. Let's jump right into it. Now that I am successfully pixel streaming locally, the next step is to pixel stream over the internet. And it's always important to pixel stream locally first, just to make sure you have everything properly set up. And assuming you are able to pixel stream through the local host, the next step is to stream over the internet. And the way that works is we pixel stream through the IP address of the virtual machine. And if you recall, back when we were setting up our instance on CoreWeave, we set it up so that we did attach a public IP address to the server and it was enabled. This is very important to do uh, when you're setting up your virtual machine because this is how we make sure we're able to pixel stream through the internet. So if you have, if you had that enabled, then your virtual machine will have a public IP address. And there's a few ways to get that IP address. The first is, if you look at the top of your RDP, you will see the public IP address. But if you're using Parsec or Teradici or something else, then you can also just go into a browser and say, what is my IP? and you'll get the public IP address of the virtual machine. Once you have the public IP address, we actually just use this to connect to the stream. So it's uh, li you know, literally the address of where the streamer is located. So in order to pixel stream over the internet, all I have to do is, and I'll close that. All I have to do is enter in that IP address and I am successfully pixel streaming. Now, there's a, a few important things to note. Uh, the first is, is, that, is that I did have my signaling server and my Unreal Engine application running. So I'm going to go ahead and close my app and my signaling server so that my connection goes away. Um, I'm actually going to yeah, there we go. Okay, so I've closed my signaling server and my Unreal Engine application. If you see a page like this, that probably means that your signaling server is not running or your app is not running. And it's important that you make sure that you have both running in order to successfully pixel stream. In order to do that, let's first start the signaling server. I do that by going to my project and then samples, pixel streaming, web servers, signaling web server, platform scripts, CMD, and I will go ahead and double click on run local. That is going to start my signaling server. Now that I have my signaling server started, the next thing I'm going to do is double click on my shortcut that I created to start my Unreal Engine application. Since I have it running in the background, I will receive a message here that it, it is connected, but I also just always like to double check and make sure that my app is also in the task manager. Once I have both my Unreal Engine application and the signaling server running, let's now type in the public, and I'll close that so we do a fresh tab or a fresh browser. Let's type in the public IP address. and we see that it's connected. Now, the, you know, the astute people who are watching this noticed, well, yes, I am pixel streaming through the IP address, but you're still in the virtual machine, so you're not technically um, going through the internet. And that's true. Um, the reason why I, I always do this first on the virtual machine is just to make sure that the IP address can be reached. Sometimes there's issues with with ports, it's, well, yeah, it's specifically ports that can throw a wrench into things. And so I always make sure that the IP address is good first um, by entering it into the IP address, or excuse me, by entering in the IP address onto a browser tab in the virtual machine to make sure that there's no issues there. Now that I have everything set up, I am now ready to pixel stream over the internet. And the way I'm going to demonstrate that is I'm going to make my RDP a window and then 
um, on the right side is a browser tab from my computer that I am um, currently located. So over here, I'm working from a desktop that's in Dallas, Texas. And over here on the left is the CoreWeave instance that I have running in Chicago. Uh, so now when I type in the IP address of this CoreWeave instance from my desktop here in Chicago, I should be able to connect to it. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So all I do, if you want to pixel stream over the internet, is enter in the IP address. And there we are. So now I have the, um, now I'm properly streaming um, over the internet on to, um, to my PC here in Dallas. Now, um, if just in terms of troubleshooting, the first things to always check, you know, obviously are make sure your signaling server is running and you'll know it's running because you'll see this Make sure your Unreal Engine application is running and you'll know that because you'll see this information. And assuming you have both of those running, sometimes you can get stuck on the on this click to start. After you do this, you see some message that says, oh, I think it's WebRTC negotiating or something like that. Um, if you get stuck on that page and you're not able to connect, there is one additional step you can do, which is to activate a turn server which will act as a middleman between your core weave instance and the end destination. So if you are not able to connect and you receive a message that says something like web, R I, I believe it's like web RTC negotiation or something, you'll, you'll see negotiation, something like that. Then what you can do is go ahead and shut down your signaling server and uh, you'll also notice that that causes an issue over here, which makes sense because now there's no way for my browser to communicate with the CoreWeave instance. And let's go ahead and now run the signaling server with a turn server. I go back to my project and I go to samples, pixel streaming, web servers, signaling web server, platform scripts, CMD, and now instead of run local, I'm going to start with turn signaling server. Now, if I just double click on this, it's just going to open up this script in notepad and not run it. So that's not what we want. Uh, instead, right click on it and run with PowerShell. Uh, I did that kind of quick, but right click on it. And then there's a run with PowerShell command. And then you'll see uh, both you'll see uh, PowerShell opening up and now we will see uh, both the signaling server and the turn server being set up. Uh, check both boxes, click allow access. And now that we have both the signaling server and the turn server running, you can go ahead and try it again. So um, again, it worked for me. I didn't have the issue. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Uh, but in case you run into that issue, this is a way that you can solve it. In this video, I showed you how to pixel stream over the internet using a CoreWeave instance. We went through step-by-step step the process of setting up your application, your signaling server, and then pixel streaming using the public IP address of the virtual machine. And then we also looked at some of the ways to troubleshoot setting up pixel streaming, like enabling a turn server. Now, if you feel like doing none of this, and I don't blame you, then there is another option. You can create an account with Eagle 3D Streaming. It's free for seven days and you can easily upload your application and begin streaming it immediately uh, at a much cheaper price and you don't have to worry about babysitting your machines and turning them on and turning them off and watching them. It's super easy. Uh, you have all of your links, all of everything managed here. You can easily go to your project and click play and your application will simply play 
um, it's super easy to use and set up your free trial today. I'm Quentin Anderson with Eagle 3D Streaming. This has been our developer series and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Upload your first Unreal Engine project on our Pixel streaming platform for free. To create an account, go to account.eagle3dstreaming.com slash sign up and get a free seven days trial. Eagle 3D Streaming, it's just easier.